Hi, my name is Chad. I'm a trainer at the Fiber location, and today I'm going to talk about three exercises that I like to do to help maintain healthy shoulders. The first one we're going to do is face pulls to Y, push up plus to downward dog, and the last one will be bottoms up kettlebell presses. The face pull to Y press is going to help the muscles around the shoulder blade and the external rotators in the rotator cuff. The push up plus to downward dog is going to help strengthen of the serratus, so it's going to be responsible for the protraction of the shoulder blade plus the upward rotation of the shoulder blade as well. And then the bottoms up kettlebell press is going to help increase the activation of the rotator cuff muscles because you have to stabilize a uh, kettlebell in an uncommon position. So for the face pulls to Y, what we're going to do is start off with somewhat of a traditional face pull. You're going to pull your arms back. The difference is you're going to come up to about 90. So you want to have your shoulders and your elbows in line form straight up. Once you're in this position, you're going to extend all the way up, pause for a second at the top, and then let the arms come back down. So the movement will look like this. And then I'll demonstrate with some bands. exercise that we're going to be doing is the push-up plus to downward dog. So what you're going to do is you're going to start off in the push-up position. You're going to drive your hands into the floor, then the shoulder blades wrap around the rib cage. Then once you're in this position, you are going to bring your hips back, coming downward into the downward dog pose. Once you're in that position, you are going to bring your hips back into that push-up position, still keeping the shoulder blades wrapped around the rib cage. And then to finish it off, you're going to come in for a squeeze, and then you'll start the movement all over again. So it's going to look something like this. Push up position, you can squeeze the shoulders together, drive through the floor, bring the hips back, pause for a second, come back with the shoulders still around the rib cage, come in for a nice little squeeze. And the last exercise we're going to do today is the bottoms up kettlebell press. Now it's going to require a little bit of grip strength because you're going to be holding the kettlebell bottom facing up. You want to make sure your chest is up nice high and proud, the shoulders are pulled back, and then you're going to slowly and under nice control, you're going to extend all the way up and back down. You're going to want to start off with a light weight when you do this one because it's going to be a little bit more challenging than your traditional shoulder press.